guys, welcome back to my channel, Quarter Minutes to Machine. So for today's video, we're gonna be talking about why I stopped doing keto. Okay, but before we get started, once again, if you're not subscribed, baby girl, baby boy, what are you waiting for? Make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It is free. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you're a returning subscriber, you already know it is all over. I truly appreciate you. Make sure you also follow me on my social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. The links will be in the description box down below for your convenience because I post there first before I even come here on YouTube and share. So my instagram snapchat family already knows that i stopped keto and a lot of people have been asking me why so here is the video about it all right let's get started first let me mention that i love keto so i don't want to see the keto police in my comments talking about some girl keto. nah i love keto okay i love keto but the main reason why i stopped doing keto was my breakout like i said i'm gonna post a video right here for you guys to see my breakout was crazy it might be a video or a picture because that video was ridiculous i might just post a picture because i'm still ashamed of that video but i'm like damn girl your face look bad but i don't know i might get the guts and post the video but anyways i'll post something right here for you guys to see what i'm talking about the breakout was real okay i had keto rash all over my face Mind you, I first was like, okay, it's just a couple pimples, but then every week it kept getting worse. And then I, I, I introduced a bit more carbs in my diet and it will go away. And then when I take the carb, it come back on carbs again, it will come back. So I was just tired of my skin breaking out. So I was like, you know what? Let me just make this a low carb thing instead of keto you know because on keto i was sometimes i wasn't even eating carbs at all like that's the truth like i wasn't eating carbs at all because once again i told you guys about the weight loss group i i, I was in they had us not eating carbs based on the menu they were sending us the carbs were almost non-existent so i was following the diet i was told to follow and my breakout was real and then i when i was told to add a bit of carbs in my diet it was getting a bit better but then when I had a cut back again, it was getting worse. And I was just like, I was tired of it. So the keto rash was one of the main reasons. Secondly, I had to be honest with myself, just land. Can you follow the keto diet your whole life? No, I cannot. I'm African. I eat fufu. I eat rice. You guys know. You guys know the vibes. You guys know. I'm just here talking to you guys like I'm telling one of my friends this. Like, you guys know. There's no way I would give up those nice food pasta alfredo what no so i knew i was not going to be able to give up those foods my whole life so like i mentioned before the first three weeks of doing keto i was strict on it like the first three weeks i lost 18 pounds i was strict on it i was not playing and then that weekend i decided to go out and your girl cheated on the diet okay when i came back home i started i gained a couple more pounds but in that week I was able to lose it and lost two more pounds on top of that. So I was like, this ain't it. Like, especially it's summertime. You guys know cookouts. We are invited in cookout, birthdays. It's like all my friends decided to have kids last year around this time. So birthdays, cookout, all type of events going on. I'm outside almost every weekend. And I knew for a fact, I had to be true to myself once again. I knew for a fact I will not be able to follow the diet my whole life. Okay, because it's a lifestyle change. This whole dieting thing, I end up understanding that it's a lifestyle thing. It's not just for a couple months, a couple weeks, and then you give up. You have to make sure you maintain it. Because a lot of people that I know that were on the keto diet ended up gaining the weight back. And some. So, I was like, uh, uh, that's not fun to be me. Let me just go on a low-carb diet and I'm counting my calories. So, I'm on a calorie deficit and I'm following a low-carb diet. And, like, I shouldn't keep mentioning this to you guys. I still drink my weight loss slash detox tea. You guys just hit me up if you guys are interested. Like I said, I sell this tea. I drink them. It curbs my appetite. It helps me go to the bathroom. It cleans me up. So, yeah, I drink this tea. 
and I had it working out in my diet, okay? I work out between one to three times a week for right now because I just started working out. The 20 pounds I lost before, I mentioned that I did not work out at all. No, no, no workout. Like, not even taking a walk. That's how bad I did not work out, okay? So, now that I have implementing, you know, working out, you know, I take walks in my neighborhood. I, you know, dance downstairs in my basement. I do Zumba. I freestyle dance. Like, I do, like, I move my body, right? Now that I have implemented that in my, in my, in my diet, I'm not going to lie. I feel good, but I'm not losing as much weight as I was on the keto diet. That's why I'm over here to tell you guys that I love the keto diet. Because what, if it wasn't for my breakout and for the fact that all these events happening back to back every weekend I'm outside, you know, I'm drinking alcohol. Some people are going to be like, you can drink alcohol on the keto diet, but you're not supposed to. It doesn't help. Especially me. I love Moscato. You, you can drink like dry wine and vodka and things like that. But I love me some pink Moscato. I love me some Belize. I love me like the sweet drinks. So cocktails, that's, that's what I love. And I know I couldn't just follow that while being on this diet. Okay. Like I said, that weekend I cheated, I was struggling to even lose the two pounds the following week that's why i ended up losing 20 pounds in a month i feel like if i did not cheat that weekend i would have lost more all right so i'm i'm just gonna be honest with you guys i love the keto diet i might i was even thinking about it i might go back on the keto diet in december you know it's cold outside people don't be having a lot of events like that beside you know the holidays of course but most of the time in the winter times people be home they don't be outside like over the summer so i was like i might try keto one more time because some people have gotten the keto rice the first time they tried it or the keto flu and then when they try keto again they did not get anything so i'm praying that's me so yeah i'm praying that's me i'm planning on going back on keto maybe over the winter when it's cold outside when there's not much activities going on <laughs> going on outside that's just the truth like i'm i'm not about to sit here and sugar cut it oh i hate keto no i might go back on keto so don't be surprised if you come here and you hear i'm back on keto or i love keto or something about keto don't be surprised because once again i do love keto and that's something that i will go back to okay most likely over the winter i will give it another shot if i break out again i will let it go i know it's definitely not for me but Every diet works differently on everybody. So don't come in my comment telling me I want keto. I lost 200 pounds. Good for you. I'm happy. But some people have experienced the keto flu. I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Some people have experienced the breakout. I did. You know, some people do not experience anything. I'm talking about my husband is was following the keto diet with me. Nothing happened to him. No keto flu. No, no rash. Nothing. And he lost a lot of weight too. You know, my, you know, I have people that are on the keto diet or that have done the keto diet and did not at all i'm talking about did not get anything no rash no flu no keto flu none of that but it just worked different on everybody and not every diet worked for everybody so for me at the moment i'm enjoying my low carb calorie deficit and my intermittent fasting let me not forget to mention that and my intermittent fasting and my you know a bit of workout that i do here and there each week so yeah so far that's what i'm doing if you want to know more let me know down below i can elaborate more as far as the times i eat and all that because that count as well and you know the amount of hour i fast and eat if you guys want to know all that good stuff just let me know down below in the comments i'll make sure i make another video for you guys also i can do a what i eat in a day for you guys you guys will be amazed like this girl is eating good yes i am okay right now i'm only eating 15 calories a day so sometimes less i'm not about to lie because sometimes i'm not hungry like i said these curb appetites i'm not hungry these things are amazing if you guys follow me on snapchat and tiktok i'll be posting results of people that have purchased the tea for me and that sent me the before and after or people that have purchased the tea for me and are sending me reviews telling me how much they lost weight or how much they love it and how much they're not hungry anymore this curb my appetite so sometimes i do not reach the 1500 calories i'm supposed to you know eat daily because i'm not hungry and i'm not about to, i'm not the type to just st stuff my face because you know so yeah and i still go out on the weekend i still have my fun I, like i said i can tell you guys all about that if you guys want to know just let me know down below comment it down below i'll talk about that i will teach you guys how i'm able to go out because y'all be seeing me outside every weekend turning up drinking 
And y'all probably like, how is this girl doing this? And then she's still losing weight. I can teach you guys that as well, okay? My partner just went off. Anyways, that's it for today's video. If you guys are interested in knowing more about my weight loss journey, don't forget to subscribe because I will share more about that. Make sure your notification bell is turned on so you can get notified every single time I upload a new video. And also, do not forget to follow your girl on her social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and TikTok. Once again, they already know this information before I even bring it out here to you guys. So follow me on those. Ask me questions. I post polls as well asking you guys what I should film next or asking you guys to send me questions that I can answer on the video. So don't forget to reach out to me on that. This noise is a bit annoying. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Nah, we're not doing that. If you guys like, you guys can go ahead and reach out to me on my social media. We can talk about the weight loss. You can ask me a question. I can try to help you as much as I can. And, you know, we can motivate each other on this journey. If you're on a weight loss journey, please do not give up. Keep pushing. Let this be your sign to keep pushing, okay? All right, just squad thank you so much. I love you guys so, so, so much. And I appreciate you guys. And welcome to the new subscribers. Welcome to the G Squad. And make sure you follow me on my social media platforms also, okay? I love you guys. And I'll catch you guys on my next one. Bye, guys.